Here's um, an Indian Royal Enfield 500 bullet engine that I've split to get the crank out of and the owner wants the British aluminium conrod fitted and a new big end and some European main bearings. Now the Indian engines main bearings are not really highly rated lots of people don't like them and they've got a reputation for wearing out at relatively low mileages and yes European bearings are probably better and it's worth fitting them when you've got an engine stripped but let's just have a look at this and we might see why perhaps uh, numerous Indian main bearings fail and wear out early excuse the mess we'll go over here I've got the crankshaft out of that engine which I would think has never been stripped since it was built um, certainly everything appeared to be quite low mileage and I just thought before I split the crank I'd set it up and give it a spin between centers in the lathe now this gauge reads thousandths of an inch and this gauge is metric where one revolution of that dial is one millimeter and the movement on the needles actually equates to almost equal amounts and I'll explain it as we go but watch this you can even see the flywheels moving up and down against each other on this crank now I've got the dial gauges set up as close as I can to where the main bearings run but the movement at the main bearings might be even slightly greater than what we're seeing here but on this side we've got 0.4 of a millimetre so that's not far off half a millimetre as everyone will probably know on this side we've got ten thousandths of an inch which forty thousandths of an inch is damn near one millimetre so we've got quarter of a millimetre there and 0.4 of a millimetre there but to compound that the needles are moving in opposite directions so you can actually add the 0.4 of a millimetre to the 0.25 or quarter of a millimetre that we've got here so 0.25 and 0.4 is 0.65 of a millimetre and that's the run out you've got on the main shafts at or very near where the main bearings run so that's going to put immense strain on the main bearings so it's not entirely the main bearings fault if and when they wear out and fail because you really wouldn't want more than perhaps a couple of thousandths of an inch run out on those main shafts against each other so in other words the run out on this crank is terrible and that's another major contribution to vibration people talk about balance factors and rebalancing their cranks to get rid of vibration but it's more important to have the main shafts and the flywheels running as true to each other as you can possibly get them and that will keep the vibration to a minimum and certainly when I fit a new big end to this and replace the conrod incidentally the big end is in pretty sound shape it's just the owner wants an upgraded conrod and the new big end in it for peace of mind as well as the new main bearings obviously um, when I've done it I'll put it back in here and I'll get it down to uh, much less run out than you see now uh, hopefully perhaps just a couple or three thou run out when it's all done and back together and that will give the main bearings Indian or European a much easier life and much more mileage before they wear out and a much smoother running engine as well but this is the sort of thing that I get out of you know um, undisturbed unstripped engines from time to time and it's really not good enough at all that that's a very very poor example of a crank from an engine but there we go it'll be put right and it'll be a much better longer lasting smoother running engine in the future that's for certain